We're at the home of the 1984 Summer Olympics. It's Los Angeles, California. And now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Washington tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Deep to return. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Trojans and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 26. Let's go! Red 18! Red 18! Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 47. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. First and 10, ball on the 47-yard line. Down around the 43-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. Here we go. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football. Here, using the safe run to get the first. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. Back to him, and he gets nothing this time around. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Tight end, but it falls to the ground. They'll line it up again on third down. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Here we go! Now he's flushed and they got him. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, Constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. And that'll get him fired up. Well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. Here's the 11th play of the drive. 36, 36. 36, 36. Ready. Right in. Caught, open field. 
And he's tackled at about the 15-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. USC could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he's got it. like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. At the 35-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That will make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He scrambles. Makes the catch, and look out. He steps out around the 48-yard line. Gain of 17 yards. First down. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He makes it to the 38-yard line. on the run now he's gonna run and watch out and down he goes at the 27 yard line the play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down first, and ten. first down 10 to go ball on the 27 yard line This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The Trojans with a three-point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Tackle made at the 11. Throws it in a hurry. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Third down again. Touchdown, Washington! Oh, that's
that's a great job and some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. It's tough to maneuver. So the offense is going to go for two. Washington is up by three. He's going to try and scramble. They don't get it. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They run left and he'll lose yardage. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 24. He's under pressure. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Number 21 makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. He's got the corner. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. That'll move the chance for another USC. First down. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the tight end, and they make the stop at the 34-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, you aim the ball. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 17-yard line. USC's going to take their first time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice run there. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. No gain on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. USC is looking to tie things up. <laughs> 
The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give the quarterback a chance to make a play. He's scrambling. The pass falls incomplete. Number 19, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second, second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Fires out quick. It's picked off. Really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. From the 32-yard line, second down. Set, green 19, green 19. Hey, kill it, motion me out. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Loss of four on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. USC is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. So at the end of the half, the Trojans lead 9-6. Very close game now as we start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. Across the 30, the 50, inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Huskies. They picked the right time to spring that one. Now you make your opponent play from behind, putting the pressure back on them. Tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He 
is taken down around the 41-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here they come, and they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it's good. like they're ready for the kickoff and he got all of this one great kick he's to the 20 and he's taken down at the 29 yard line so you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around they come out in a five-wide set. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he is drilled at the 39-yard line. Called a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Washington with a one-point lead. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Short gain there by the tailback, and he's still going to come away with a first down. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, it was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Throws right, intercepted. Here's an opening. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10, and a huge touchdown play. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. And they're looking to get two points here. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And they won't get the two. USC ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. At the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. 
Brad, it's very important that this offense put that last possession behind them and just focus on trying to put together some positive plays right now and see if they can put a drive together. Fires to the wideout, first down. Gain of 19 on the play. First down. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Gain of 15 yards. First down. Right, alert, alert. Bruin, Bruin. Mike, 55. Right there. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line. Second down. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. That makes it 30 seconds. Hey, Brad, side left, side left. Pull down, pull down. Watch 25. Uh, alert, alert. Watch 55. Line up. Line up. Line up. Tackled after a decent pickup. He's taken down right around the 10 yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. It's first down, and he'll be looking for six points here. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings up second. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. The kicker will stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Washington yet set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. He's under pressure, and he just gets rid of it. Second and 10, ball on the 25. He gets rid of this one. Three yard line. Game of eight yards. Fourth down. All right, team, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get down, get down, get down. He's pushed out of bounds around the 31 yard line. We head to the final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands. The Huskies with a three-point lead. 
Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. A score here might effectively end this one. Washington holds a field goal lead. Tackle at the 42. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. Two ties, two ties. Pull down, pull down. Hey, check right, check right. Up to the five. Set. Nice run there. Nine on the tackle. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Check, check. Taxi down. Play fake, looking to run. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. the middle for a nice game. Gain of four yards. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Set. 10, 19. 10, 19. Toss to the right. He goes down for a loss. Washington is up by three. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 27. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tries to get around the corner. And now he's got room to run. Touchdown! Huge play! Did you see how explosive he looked? He had his sights set on the end zone, and he was not going to be stopped. He makes the PAT. A nice eight play, 67 yard drive. And they put up seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Under pressure. Slides down to the ground. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete.
five wide. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Fourth down, switch, switch, and the switch. offense is still on the field. Ready! Green 90! Green 90! Makes the first down catch. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. 200 check! 200 check! Gets it to his tight end for a first down. Brought down right around the 30. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. This one's going deep to the end zone. Incomplete, almost picked off. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Here's the eighth play of the series. Four down, four down. The mic. Just Tins over a minute in the fourth quarter. Set! Green 88! Green 88! Catches it and he's looking for more. He's at the 20. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 12-yard line. From the 12 yard line. First down. Go, let's go! Right on the hole. Ah, 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 ah. Rose, and that one's gonna hit the ground incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Tenth play of the drive. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. USC is down to their last dollar. They're lined up for the onside to try to stay in the game. USC had just one hope left, and it all falls on this onside kick. USC staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs Let's out of the backfield to be able to make plays. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. USC is going to have to use their second time out of the half. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 45-yard line, second down, under a minute left in the game. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Tins the mic. That's you. Set. Oh, go, 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 go. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. That'll make it fourth and 13. off and that'll seal it up. Makes the interception. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 
55, my 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Run it. Red 88. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. The Trojans are going to have to call their third and final timeout. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Third down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. He scrambles, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He gets hit out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The Trojans, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.